So my name is Flip Cromer, and I'm from InfoChimps.org. We're building a website where you can find any data set in the world, a commons for all of the free open data that's on the web. <coughs> and I'm going to talk about uh, how government open data is going to make all of our lives better. So right now, between Wikipedia and Google, you can find any morsel of data you need to know. This is data at bite size, and you can find out something about anything. You need to know the weather on August 6, 1986. That's out there. But we're now getting to where we can start looking for meteor fare. <laughs> Instead of asking for the weather on one day, ask for the weather hour by hour across the entire globe for the last century. That's out there. The government's preparing it. <laughs> and this is going to uh, this is going to change the world. The, the stimulus plan, the, uh, a lot of what we're doing is instrumenting the energy grid. Start reading data from every energy meter in the country. Bring that in to where people can analyze it and that they can get an idea of what's going on. Health data, this is something the government has to be involved in protecting but aggregating. We have to know who's coming into the hospitals, what they're presented with, uh, how they're healing, and the patterns in that. So, this is the future, but there is no jetpack yet. <laughs> there is a lot of problems that we still face. There are a lot of uh, unusual barriers that you may not expect. Next. <coughs> but basically, a lot of it is behind several layers of bars in an impregnable defense in depth jail. The data is dispersed. It costs a lot of money. There's no clarity of licensing. It's hard to know what to trust. These data sets don't know what they're talking about. They don't know each other. They're in bizarre random formats. And you can't see it. So you can't see it. We're not talking about this, which is already hard. We're talking about a tsunami of data, tools for which we're just developing now, and we have to learn how to surf this oncoming wave. <coughs> the data's disorganized. It's all over the place. None of it's connected. None of it's in the same place. And when it is, this is what it looks like. So our approach is to leverage the infinite monkeys theorem. We need to have a common meeting place where the stuff that's interesting is the stuff that's getting worked on and we have to make it so easy to curate and improve and standardize that when people uh, attack it with these tools, they can put it back better than they found it. Basically, we need a flicker for data, so a place where you can tag it, where you can connect it to the real world. This thing talks about net exports or times of lunar eclipses or weather or budgeting uh, money. Now our approach is to be, we don't give you sentences, we give you, we give you volumes. And we don't impose any order. We give you a giant bookshelf, we're a wholesaler. There's gonna be other sites, Freebase, Swivel, Many Eyes, things that haven't been built yet, that are going to be bringing this to the consumer part. <coughs> we also need to solve free government data costs a fantastic amount of money right now. An example, uh, the FAA makes flight data available. This is what feeds sites like FlightAware. And God bless them, they're bringing it to all of us, but if you work out the charges they apply to bulk, to, to download historical data, it works out to a million dollars a gigabyte for free data prepared at government expense, or taxpayer expense. <laughs> we need clarity of licenses. Copy, however screwed up copyright law is right now, the rights issues surrounding data are five times harder or maybe a power of five harder. It's not just copyright, it's trespass, it's terms of service. It's a hairy situation. You need to know whom to trust. How do you trust data? Solona puts up her copy of the federal, federal uh, budget. Look, <laughs> she's not the government, why should I trust that? So we need uh, better tools for understanding 
<laughs> we need better tools for understanding whom to trust. We need to have a uh, reputation in place. We need to have rewards of the you know, social pattern type for curating this data and for putting it back better than you found it. <coughs> so we also need next one, uh, to bring it to human scale. I was saying we're the wholesaler, but all the people in this room, a lot of people are uh, not technical and uh, almost everybody outside of the room is not. They wouldn't know a SQL query from a, uh, a SQL to Queer Eye. They would have no idea how to interrogate these data sets, how to ask the deep questions. Well, they have the questions. They, we just haven't put the tools to understand them yet. If you haven't seen Hans Rosling's talk on how he's leveraged UN data to understand public health better, then you should stop listening to me and go immediately watch it, it's amazing. And it brings it to a scale where anybody can see it. <coughs> we need to bring it to human scale where I was talking about everything about something, where we can take horizontal slices through all these eddy things. Everyblock.com takes crime data. They take uh, government reporting data, like the uh, what, what's your city council talking about. They take all these vertical slices, cut through it horizontally so you're seeing what's happening in your neighborhood. We need to humanize it. And we need to have it in a commons, a, a central place or a distributed collection of central places that belongs to nobody but belongs to everybody. Thanks a lot.